Hey guys, if your iTunes app is not opening or just not working in general, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you some quick and easy steps you can take to fix this issue. So the very first thing we need to do is head over to the start menu and we're going to search for settings and then come over to this settings tab. Inside of here we need to come down to apps from the left, inside of installed apps and from this search box we need to search for iTunes and once you've found iTunes we just simply need to head over to these three little dots here and come over to advanced options. Then scroll all the way down till you come to this reset section and the first thing we're going to do is try and repair the app by pressing this repair button and this should only take a few seconds to complete and once we've finished that we can also press this reset button which will delete all of our cache and save data so once you've done that it's also worth coming down to windows update from the left here and just pressing this check for updates button to ensure you're running the latest version of windows as sometimes outdated software can also cause issues with the app and once you've ensured you're running the latest version of windows we can then head out of this window and you can check to see if that's fixed the issue otherwise the next thing you need to do is come over to the start menu and we're going to search for run and come over to the run icon inside of here you need to type in ms config and then just hit enter and now from these top tabs here we need to come over to services and you need to come down and press this hide all microsoft services button just make sure this is checked and then we can press this disable all button and we're going to press apply and ok to save our changes and now you'll need to restart your computer in order for these changes to take effect and then you can check to see if that's also fixed the issue if that's still not working the next thing we need to do is head over to our start menu and you're going to search for windows store come over to the microsoft store and then come over to library from the left hand side here and we just need to press this get updates button and this is just going to make sure that we're running the latest version of itunes and there's no pending updates available because once again if you do have outdated software or applications it can cause issues with our apps so it's just a good idea making sure everything's up to date and we can then close out of this window and we're going to come over to our start menu and this time search for task manager and then head over to the task manager tab in the search box up here we're going to search for itunes and nothing appears for me here but if you do get anything come up here for itunes then you just simply need to right click on the process and select end process to end it and then once you've ensured nothing's running inside of here we can then head out of this window and we're going to try relaunching itunes to see if that's fixed the loading issue now if that's still not working the very last thing we can do is head back over to the start menu and this time we're going to search for cmd and we need to come to this command prompt and then right click and run as administrator inside of here there's a few commands that we need to type in to check our core windows system files just to ensure nothing's corrupt or broken so i've already got these saved in a notepad here and i'll leave these in the video description so you guys can come and copy and paste them too so I'm just going to paste this first command in and it should only take a couple of seconds and as you can see no corrupted files were detected so we can go ahead and try this second command here and then just paste that in and once again this should only take a few seconds to complete you'll just need to wait for this verification to get to 100% so once you've completed this scan if the scan does detect any errors then you'll need to go ahead and use this third command here and basically what this does is it will repair your computer and any of those corrupt files that it detects and then we can head out of the command prompt window and that should have fixed any issues you're having with opening itunes if this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe until next time